Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look into an, uh, a SDR, software defined radio switch. Pretty much it will enable me to connect my um, SDR receiver to the same antenna of my transceiver and when I use my TX function on the transceiver I will not overload and burn the receiver of the SDR uh, radio. Okay. So this is a switch. Um, the box, it came from China, so it's not a, fun, uh, a nice box or anything. It just says, you know, what it is there. If I can probably do this. Yeah, so you can see what it is, SKU and uh, the brand. Uh, it's sold under different brands, and uh, I bought this from one of those Chinese uh, retailers. I'm not sure if it was uh, Wish or... Alibaba or Aliexpress or anything. Anyway, one of those. And so let's look into what comes into the package. No instructions, okay? <laughs> Zero instructions in there, which is interesting. Um, I've got a, a little patch cable, SMA, SMA mail to SMA mail, okay? That's a little patch cable over here. I've got a uh, connector, stereotype connector with the two wires on the back, probably to signalize the device that I'm transmitting. So we can probably just say, hey, I'm transmitting, uh, switch off, right? Turn, turn off the, the receiver and don't uh, on my other device. And it comes with a power cable, which is again, um, I think this is 5.5 uh, by 2.1 if I, if I recall properly. Uh, with the wires in the back it's to be connected. I'm assuming this is a 13.8 volt device, so you just put this in your power supply, it should be good to go. And this is the switch itself. It's not heavy, not, not that big, you can see, right? And it comes with some input to the SDR, uh, an output to the audio, and uh, your TX transceiver, I mean, uh, transmit. Uh, uh, detection mode, if you will, right here. In the back, you got um, the the you know the regular SO239 that goes to receives the socket from the antenna, but goes to the radio. The one that comes from the antenna itself. This goes to your SDR radio, and this gets from your PTT when you when you uh, pretty much hit the press push to talk button on the microphone. And I was right. This is a 13, probably can read there, 13.8 volts uh, device. So all you need to do is really get this wire connect here. This other portion goes to your power supply. You get this little pigtail cable you connect here oops and this goes to your SDR device okay this other side goes to your SDI device SDR device and here you do the wiring for the push to talk right you can just plug in here okay so one thing that's important to mention is um, I research the internet and to operate the way I mentioned you have to change a little jumper inside so you have to open this box check the check, check YouTube other channels and there is a, a jumper that you have to adjust uh, inside the device so it will operate like I said right cutting the transmission away from my SDR and receiving at the same time um, in both ends when you are in RX function, but your TX function needs to go only to the antenna from your main transceiver and cut off the receiving end of your SDR receiver. Otherwise, we're just going to overload the front end of the receiver and that will pretty much uh, desensitize it uh, to the point that it might even damage your device, okay? So, that's the unboxing of this uh, uh, you know, SDR TXRX switch. Please subscribe to my channel, click on the bell so you know when I upload a new video. And also, don't forget, happy holidays 
and happy 2023. Come back at any time. Thank you.